Hi friends, welcome back. Myself Amit. Let me move on to the MCQs on influence land diagram. Let me read out the first question when a single concentrated load of W loads on a simply supported beam of length L. A load W is moving on a simply supported beam of length L uh, of a girder from left to right. It is moving from left to right. Let me take this as A and this as B. The magnitude of absolute maximum bending moment is so what i am going to do i am placing the load on exactly at the center where this will be l by 2 and this will be l by 2 the maximum bending moment uh, will be w l by 4. very easy question let me move to the next question a uniformly distributed load of 10 kilo newton per meter there is a uniformly distributed load which is uh, intensity of the load here is 10 kilo newton per meter longer than the span okay they have given a girder simply supported on both the hands from left to right see they have given some girder in which the length is how much it is 16 meter but in the case in this case they are telling uniformly distributed load i mean it is longer than the span that means this span is more than 16 meter okay the span of this should be more than 16 meter that means the influence line diagram it comes to be I mean sorry uh, the load will be comes to like this because if this is longer than the span the absolute maximum bending moment the absolute maximum bending moment in this case it will be w l square divided by 8 what is the value of w w is 10 into l is 16 square divided by 8 it comes to be 320 so option c will be the right answer for this question see third one it is very interesting question for a simply supported beam of span 10 meter i mean just taking a simply supported beam the span is 10 meters the influence line diagram drawn for a bending moment at a section 4 from the left support see from the left support there is a uh, for 4 meters i need to take this as a point c and the remaining distance will become 6 meter they are asking us to find the maximum bending moment I mean uh, bending moment at a section 4 meter so the first thing is and uh, the maximum bending moment at a section due to moving of point load 160 kilo newton the point load is moving in a 160 kilo newton from left to right let me take this as point a b i need to find the value of maximum bending moment at a point c first thing what i need to do i need to make a influence line diagram you need to draw a influence line diagram with respect to c here i am going to place the load which is 160 kilo newton and i want to calculate the ordinate which is equal to 4 into 6 divided by 10 which comes to be 2.4 so what is the maximum bending moment will be equal to load into ordinate distance where load is 160 and ordinate distance is 2.4 it comes to be 384 kilo newton meter direct question this kind of question i already solved many times next question is little interesting yeah this is a direct question for a simply supported beam a b influence line diagram for reaction at b there is a simply supported beam let me take this as point a and this point as b they are asking us to draw influence line diagram for a reaction at b okay for re influence line diagram for reaction at b what i am going to do in case of reaction i am applying one unit rotation at a point b where the influence line diagram for this it will come like this they have given some abbreviations let me read out that and i will link that to the, this influence line diagram a triangle having zero ordinate at a point a at a point a so first of all it is triangle is it fine the given thing is triangle having a zero ordinate at a point a is it right at a point a it has a zero ordinate and unit rotation at a point b at a point b it has a unit rotation so this is the right second one a rectangle rectangle will come like this so second option is wrong a triangle has zero ordinate at b no we have a unit ordinate at b so it is wrong triangle having zero ordinate at a is fine and b and b also they are telling zero ordinate so it is not uh, unit ordinated mid span that means according to the fourth option it should come like this so option a is the right answer for this question okay two points load there are two point load 40 kilo newton and 60 kilo newton spaced six meter apart one point load is having 40 kilo newton and other one is 60 kilo newton they are spaced by six meter 
द फोर्टी किलो न्यूटन लोड इज ऑन द लीडिंग फ्रॉम लेफ्ट टू राइट इट इज इन लीडिंग पोजिशन इट इट इज लीडिंग फोर्टी किलो न्यूटन इज लीडिंग सो द रिटर्न थिंग इज राइट द मैक्सिमम रियाक्शन डेवलप्ड इज सो across the girder spaced at 6 meter across the girder of 16 meter span they are telling the girder is 16 meter span this is moving from a point a to point b the maximum reaction developed is what is the maximum reaction developed for that i am going to draw the influence line diagram with respect to reaction reaction at a point a so influence line diagram for reaction to point a will be like this and i'm going to place the load where i am going to place 60 kN here and 40 kN here so if you calculate this will be one unit rotation if you calculate this ordinate see this is 16 if this is 16 this comes to be 10 by making use of the tri similar triangle concept you are supposed to get this ordinate just a minute Zero point six two five will be the ordinate distance. So, um, what is the maximum reaction developed is equal to load into ordinate distance, where load is sixty into perpendicular ordinate distance is one plus forty into zero point six two five. If you calculate this, you will get a eighty uh, five kilonewton will be the eighty five you are supposed to get. I think I missed one question. Drawn a bending moment symbol. Yeah. Fine. Let me move on to the next question. See, this is very direct question which I had explained in the conceptual lecture series. When a series of wheel load <coughs> crosses a girder, simply supported beam at the ends, the maximum bending moment under any given wheel load occurs at maximum bending moment where it is going to occur. It will occur at. the center of the span in the midway between cg of the load system and the wheel load under consideration this is already been explained fine let me move on to the next question very interesting question uh, five concentrated loads there are five concentrated loads one is 40 kilo newton then 120 kilo newton 100 kilo newton 60 kilo newton and 80 kilo newton okay spaced equally there is a spacing everywhere there is a 3 meter spacing between them moving from left to right of a simply supported beam of span simply supported beam of span 40 meters Where forty kilonewton load is leading, so the given thing is right. The maximum bending moment at a point C, somewhere the let me take is a point C, which is fifteen uh, meter from the left support. So according to the question, they are asking which is the load which has to cross the point C so that we are supposed to get the bending moment. For this, what we need to do, we need to make a chart. In the first chart, taking load crossing C. Average load at the left of C, average load at the right of the C, and you need to take a point of consideration where the sign is going to change. When we deduct the average load on the left and average load on the right, this type of question has been already been explained. Please do the, um, please solve the question among yourself and please do comment in the comment section. Let just take it this question as A, and answer it in the comment section. Fine. Let me move on to the next question. Okay, the shape of the influence line diagram themed for a simply supported beam represents the shape is triangle. Okay, you know, for a simply supported beam, if it, the shape of the influence line diagram for a bending moment, the influence line diagram for a bending moment, it comes to be like this. So it is triangle. Muller's Breslau principle. I had explained many a things about Muller's Breslau principle is applied to the beams. Muller's Breslau principle is applied. For example, I am taking a beam structure in in which Muller's Breslau principle is used to obtain reactions. 
reaction comes like this this is reaction at a and shear force shear force diagram with respect to influence line diagram will come like this and bending moment will come like this all these things which is drawn it is based on the principle which is used this muller's breslow principle so shear force bending moment as well as deflection all of the above is the right answer for this question Muller's Breslau principle is applied to only determinate structure. No, it is applied to both determinate as well as indeterminate structure. Only stable structure, only beams. No, it can be used for trusses also. Beams not to be used for arches. No, for arches and cables, we can write the influence diagram. For any stable structure, Muller's Breslau can be principle can be used to draw the influence line diagram. Influence lines, okay. Let me read it. Always straight line segments. No, it will be curved. Curved in case of uh, indeterminate structure. Also, and curved in determinate structure. No, it is curved in indeterminate structure. Straight line segment for inter. No, for indeterminate frames, it is curved. Curved for indeterminate structure is the right answer. Okay. All these things I have already given in the conceptual learning. the previous lecture series yeah very important question a simply supported beam of span l one simply supported beam which is having a span l okay span l has an over hang of 1 quarter of its span over the right support over the right support there is 1 quarter of its span that is l by 4 over the right support the influence line diagram for the right support is see this is uh, let me take this a b and this is overhanging portion is c so left support is r a i mean a is the left support b is the right support they are asking us to find the influence line diagram for the right support it comes to be let me draw the influence line diagram like this so at the right support i am applying one unit rotation it comes to be like this since there is a presence of overhanging portion in this it comes to be like this so this unit is one and i need to calculate the ordinate of this thing okay so how to calculate by making use of the similar triangle concept this is l and this is l by 4 so overall length will become 5 by 4 times the l how to make use of similar triangle concept for 5 by 4 times of l let me take it as x because i don't know what is the value and for l what is the for l distance what is the thing which is 1 if you calculate this it comes to be 1 x is equal to 1.25 so let me write out the options straight line with maximum ordinate 1.25 so it is a straight line with maximum ordinate 1.25 this is right straight line with maximum ordinate 1 no maximum ordinate is 1.25 this is minimum because it is not having higher value so this is wrong curved there is no matter of curved here so i am eliminating these two options and the option a is will be the right answer for this question let's next again the question with respect to muller's breslau principle see all we have solved like uh, more than five questions with respect to muller's muller's breslau principle in the conceptual lecture series i have given the application of uh, muller's breslau principle all the questions are getting repeated from those points itself like i have given some 6 to 8 points which is very important in which you can solve the mcq points very easily like that of points i have been added please go through that and not not down all the points then these kinds of questions will be very much familiar and easy to you the muller's breslau principle can be used to determine the shear force influence line diagram of course this is right indicate the parts of the structure to be loaded to obtain the maximum effect no calculate the ordinate of the influence line no ordinates you are supposed to get it uh, with respect to similar triangle concept or load calculations so muller's breslau principles are mainly used to calculate the to draw the influence line diagram with respect to its shape not with respect to its ordinate or not with respect to its parts of the structure so option a will would be the right answer a load w travels from left support left to right support the telling a load w is present which is traveling from left to right 
of a simply supported beam of length l let me take one simply supported beam the length of the simply supported beam is l the maximum bending moment at 0.4 times of l they are telling some 0.4 times of l let me take this point a b c we need to calculate at the 0.4 times of l from the left support we need to calculate the maximum bending moment so the remaining distance will become 0.6 times of l for this i need i will draw the influence line diagram it comes to be like this where ordinate will be equal to 0.4 times of l into 0.6 times of l divided by uh, 1 times of l which comes to be 2.66 i am going to place the w here so maximum bending moment will be equal to load into ordinate distance uh, which is equal to w into 2.66 times of l which comes to be 2.6 i mean i am sorry this comes to be 0.24 i am very sorry if you calculate this it comes to be 0.24 time time well 0.24 times of l which is equal to 0.24 wl 0.24 wl will be the right answer for this question the influence line for any stress function of a structure such as shear force bending moment any reactive force moment is given by the deflection curve of a structure obtaining by imposing the unit distortion in the direct direction of the stress function this is called Uh, this is nothing but Muller's Breslau principle. Direct question. Fine. Muller's Breslau principle is adopted, is used as a tool for both determinate and indeterminate structure for obtaining influence line diagram. It is mainly used to obtain influence line diagram. The maximum bending moment. Uh, okay, sorry. The maximum bending moment caused by the moving concentrated load on the simply supported beam is always at the mid span. Okay, direct question they are asking. Influence line diagram for bending moment at a section in a cantilever beam is triangle extended between the section and the fixed end with the maximum ordinate under the section. All the things are direct question they have asked. Let me go to some numerical problems. Yeah, a single concentrated load loading over the beam will cause a maximum shear force and the maximum bending moment when the load is on the section itself not on the uh, outside of the section it is exactly on the section itself so let me do a last question and i'll end up with the influence line diagram concept a 200 kilometer kilonewton wheel load moves from one end to other end for a simply supported girder of 12 meter span simply supported girder is given which is at a span of 12 meters in which 200 kilonewton load is moving from one point to other point let me take this as point a and b and i am considering it is moving from point a to point b the maximum bending moment that can occur at a section four meter from the left end from four meter from the left end the remaining width will become eight meter so i need to calculate the maximum bending moment at this point c for that i am going to draw the influence line diagram where the uh, i am going to place this 120 kN load here and 4 into 8 divided by 12 in order to find the ordinate distance which comes to be 2.66 so it uh, if your maximum bending moment will be equal to load into ordinate distance which is equal to 1, 1, 120 into 2.66 which comes to be 533.3 kN meter okay so i had may analyzed many of the mcqs with respect to influence line diagram so in from the next class i'm moving on to arches and cables that's all for the session guys please anything please do comment in the comment section thank you and all bye bye